Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. I hope you are doing well. Don't mind this stupid part. I've already made a video on how to make talking parts, but for this video, I'll show you how to make cutscenes for your game. I will explain everything you need. I will also leave my co in a comment, but make sure you change it to match your needs. We are really close to 1k subs. You are not forced to sub. If you find my videos helpful, feel free to like and sub. Join our Discord server for more information. And I would like to thank you for supporting me all this time. Stupid part. Before we start I want to mention something important. While making cutscenes, you have to know that the camera is only accessible via a local script and you can't access it via a server script. I hope you understood it. Now let's see how to make a cutscene. I made a local script. The first few lines is to make sure that our player has loaded fully and also to avoid having errors while getting elements from the workspace. I made a variable for the door, the camera and the player's parts to detect if he touched a button that will trigger the cutscene and plays the animation. I'm going to use the humanoid object to freeze our player. Tween service is for our animation. Then if the player's foot is touching something and that thing is the button. We also using is touching to avoid spamming the button. We made variables for the current player speed and jump power because we are going to freeze him. And once the cutscene is done, we give him back his speed and jump. We change the camera type to scriptable so we can animate it and move it freely if you keep the default camera type you won't be able to move it after we created a tween for our camera and the goal is a part that is pointing at the door we will change our camera's position and rotation to that part we also made a tween for the door to go up and once our animation is completed we bring back the players walk speed and jump power and we bring the camera type back to its default value and we finally let our player able to touch parts again and yep that's all we need I want to mention something. The same logic apply to other scenes. Organize your animations and play with the camera's position to create the scene you want. It's all about the right timing. This is how it looks like. I hope you guys learned something new. Stay safe for the next video. Eat well and don't forget to join our Discord family. Have a nice day.